Hello everyone. I'm so lucky to give a presentation about my work. My name is Zheng Zhi, and I'm from University of Science and Technology of China. Today I will give a little discussion about drug recommendation, and here is my topic, drug package recommendation via interaction or via graph induction. With the growth of population, and the intensification of population aging, people's demand for high-quality medical services continues to rise. Fortunately, electronic medical records have been widely used in major hospitals, and AI technologies have shown enormous potential to reduce, to reduce human labor in medical services like medical image analysis, chronic disease management, medical tax analysis, and etc. However, drug recommendation based on EMR is still largely unexplored. For drug recommendation system, it is very important for the recommender system to consider both drug effect and the interaction between drugs at the same time and give a patient a suitable drug package, which contains multiple drugs. We illustrate this by a patient with kidney disease. The drug package for this patient contains three drugs with synergism interaction, which can improve the effect of the drug package. Some drugs with antagonism or toxicity are not included in the package. What's more, in some cases, a doctor may still use some drugs although they have antagonism, interaction, or toxicity. Traditional methods such as collaborative filtering can only get the one-on-one -on -one interaction, and it is hard to achieve satisfactory performance. Therefore, we propose a novel method to solve this problem. The EMR dataset used in this paper comes from the electronic medical record database of a first-rate hospital in China. Each medical record contains the following information. Demographics are formatted data including basic patient information such as patient's gender, age, type of medical insurance, etc. Lab Laboratory results are the patient's test values and normal values for some laboratory items in laboratory test. Admission notes are part of a medical record that documents the patient status including physical examination findings and the initial instructions for the patient's care. And finally, the drugs that include all of the drugs used during the patient's hospital stay. In order to study the interaction between drugs, we collect data from a large online medical database named Drug Bank, and this is a knowledge base. Uh, users can check drug properties and drug-on-drug uh, -drug interaction on Drug Bank database, as shown in the figure. The drug interaction information is stored in text format based on some certain templates. We classify the templates into three categories, respectively no interaction, synergism, antagonism, and note that the interaction has direction. In order to integrate the above multi-source heterogeneous data. For demographic and uh, laboratory results, we convert and combine them into one hot document. For admission notes, we convert them into same length by padding and cut off. Then we get the patient description. For the drug interaction data, we construct a relation matrix which will be discussed in detail later. Based on these data, 
we can formulate the drug package recommendation problem as given a set of patient descriptions with the corresponding drug packages and the drug relation matrix the goal of drug package recommendation is to get a personalized fu re scoring function for each patient and now we will introduce the framework of our model in detail our framework mainly consists of three components respectively pre-training, package graph construction, and drug package recommendation. Specifically, we will first design a pre-training method based on neural collaborative filtering to get the initial embedding of patients and drugs. Then, we propose to construct drug package graphs based on medical records and domain knowledge. Finally, a novel drug package recommendation framework with two variants are proposed to solve the drug package recommendation problem. A patient's description consists of two heterogeneous parts, and a graph package consists of several drugs. In order to recommend drug packages, we first need to get the embeddings of drugs and patients. First, we propose to extract the embedding of the patient by MLP and char LSTM. Then, we associate each drug with a randomly initialized embedding. After that, we train the one-on-one -on -one interaction by BPR loss and NCM framework. And this is our pre-training. Compared with traditional item recommendation, the core problem of, of drug package recommendation is how to get the representation of drug packages considering the interaction between drugs. Therefore, we propose to utilize graph models to solve this problem. We first construct a drug relation matrix based on the labeled drug interaction data. Then, for drug package P, we define a corresponding package graph G. The node attribute is the drug embedding, and the edge attribute will be discussed in detail later. The topology defined by relation matrix and the uh, frequency of drug co-occurrence. That is, if the two drugs are recorded in drug bank or their co-occurrence propagation is larger than a threshold, the corresponding edge e exists. <coughs> After the formulation of package graphs, we can finish the graph package recommendation task. The key to obtain effective representation of a drug package graph is to utilize the edge attributes to capture the interaction between the drugs. Therefore, we propose two ways to formulate the edge attributes in package graph from two different point of views. First, since the two major interactions in our dataset are opposite to each other, we can simply exploit signed edge weights to describe the drug interaction intensity. Second, if we expect our model to be more generic, we can define the edge attributes as vectors which contain the information about the type of interaction. Here is the first variant, DPRWG. In this variant, we convert packaged graph into a weighted graph. The edge attribute is initialized by the drug bank data. Respectively, we sign Y for we sign Y for synergism and minus one for antagonism. Then we utilize a mass vector to reflect the impact of patient condition. That is, calculate a contextual impact factor to upload the edge attribute. After that, we can form the message passing neural network layer using edge weights for filtering as the figure shows. After one layer of message passing, we get the graph embedding by self-attention. Finally, we utilize NCF framework and BPR loss to train the model.
in the second variate DBRAG, we convert package graph into attributed graph. We first form the edge attribute vector as the interaction vector between two drugs, which is calculated by MLP model. Then, we utilize the mask layer again to update the edge attributes by adding the impact or patient's condition on the interaction vector. After that, we can form the message passing neural network layer for attributed graph as the figure shows. Again, we get the graph embedding by self-attention, and we design a hybrid loss function. The loss function combines the BPR loss for NCF framework and the cross-entropy loss for the edge type classification. The cross-entropy loss aims to force the edge attribute to contain the interaction type information. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our drug package recommendation framework, we compared our models with all of the baselines, and the results are shown in the table. We can find that the performance of our models surpasses most of the baseline models on different evaluation metrics. This clearly proves the effectiveness of our DPR framework based on package graph construction and message passing neural network. And a case is shown in the figure. We randomly select 1,000 patients and their corresponding mask vectors and projected them into two-dimensional space with TSNE. We further select three respective patient groups, respectively pregnant women, infants, and patients with liver disease. The result shows that different groups have different special requirements for drug selecting. What's more, we further found that existing models on package recommendation are all discriminative models. Discriminative models can only recommend drug packages that exist within the database, which cannot meet the needs of some new patients. So in our work, we propose a heuristic algorithm which combines the existing packages, the personalized uh, drug prediction lists and the drug interaction metrics to generate new packages. We select some test samples and handle them to five doctors to mark the packages they preferred, and the result proves that uh, the effectiveness of our method. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.